to grow up fast because I had to feed my daughter right. Welcome back to Work Don't Stock It. Today we're gonna look at the Air Max 720. Now I'm hiding some mewins, breezing on the belt, rocking sheepskin, sheep's at bay. Damn, Bronson, why you be that way? Bitch, I'm still that same. So, as per usual, we'll go over the details on the shoe, and then after that, we will move on to the on foot video. And um, so, I'm gonna be as brutally honest as possible with this pair um, because honestly it was something I was looking forward to for a good couple months and um, I was anticipating the release of these I had high hopes so what everyone saw the press photos and the videos and all that good stuff prior to release and um, they translate and come out so good on camera that it sort of blinds you um, so the way they look on the lens compared to how they are in hand is a totally different thing so I can see now these absolutely look insane on my camera and so the upper consists of this coated mesh material uh, worked all the way around so these boomerang shapes are a more finer breathable mesh and you get two areas on the heel that are that same material and they are also finished in that iridescent colour so you can see that change in colour as I turn it so it's like a greeny purple and then a blue in some points on the tongue you got the Air Max Air Max branding in the same colour with the black hits all around as well in the insole standard insole with the Air Max branding in there as well, which is nice. Uh, black laces, standard black laces in there. And the midsole is sort of a glittery purple um, to contrast and fit in with the upper. So uh, this colorway was called the Northern Lights. So you can see why it's just a concoction of different colors and the way it changes at different angles. And uh, that was a big selling point for me. Um, I think that it's not been done many times by Nike. There's a handful of times they've done an iridescent um, color changing up like this. Um, they've done some back back in the day, then they brought it back on some 90s and Air Max One. But it's good to see it back in 2019 on the 720. Now, this bubble, on the midsole is absolutely huge. It's easily the biggest bubble on any Air Max pair. Considering how big it is, you'd automatically assume that the pair of shoes are super comfortable, um, but that's not necessarily the case, which I'll go on to a bit later on. So you've got big bubble, you've got your purple midsole with the swoosh, hitting there, you've got a swoosh on the heel heel tab as well. So on the outsole, on the big bubble, you get like a ridged textured outsole on the lining of the bubble, just to give you that little bit of grip. And then on this area, just here, it's like a firmer material, feels almost like plastic. But then this part that's worked all the way around here is super, super soft material. I'm not sure if it's React, or Lunalon, but it's super super soft. This bit of support in the middle feels pretty nice. Uh, we've got a swoosh on the toe box and then on the front of the toe you've got um, a sort of a toe cap which is iridescent in this sort of plasticky TPU sort of material on there. That covers all the details of the shoe as it comes. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the box, which I think is one of the best Nike boxes and packaging I have seen so far. So the box comes like this. It's got all the reflective, different branding they've had over the years, uh, combining all the branding of all the Air Maxes that have pre-existed this one. It's got Air Max 720, on, on there, then on the inside, 
you get the shiny iridescent foil in there rather than your standard paper which is a nice detail touch in the box you do not get any spare laces um, you get the pair of shoes and the black laces in them retail price they threw these up at a hefty 155 retail price um, which I thought at the time was reasonable as I didn't have them in hand I thought there might be some touches of quality on these um, but as far as general releases go I think £130 would have been a good enough price for these but the iridescent upper is a nice touch I can see the demand for them and I can see a lot of people wearing these uh, very futuristic looking and that's always a good good thing in my eyes uh, as long as brands are moving forward and trying new things I think that's great but affordability is always a massive massive issue as well sizing wise they for me they fit true to size I went with size 8 and I've got no issues with them but I think if you're between a size eight and an eight and a half. I can see where the issue would lie, where it would be a bit more tighter. Because that bubble is so big, it forces your foot to slot down towards the front a lot more, uh, which will cause that tightness on the toe area. Considering this material has no stretch in it, there's no give at all in this material. It's like a, um, it's like a harder fabric underneath. On the overlay, they've got this coated mesh as well. Uh, if you are in between sizes, I'll go for the bigger size uh, just to get that better fit. Um, another thing is when you walk in these, they don't quite follow the step properly. Um, I found when I'm walking in these because I'm not used to the massive bubble on the back. As I was walking forwards, the front will just fall and it'll make a noise which is kind of annoying and to conclude i like this trainer price point was slightly off in my opinion i think they could have gone a bit cheaper and um, details are very nice they come out absolutely amazing on photos and video which we'll see later on um, i'm on the fence at the moment if i'm going to keep them or not that will conclude my video on the 720s if you like this sort of content give me a like subscribe to my channel and um, check me out on instagram at rocket don't stock it uh, for more content pictures all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys on the next one sabes muy bien cuando oyes la voz oyes yes yo techo es simple sigo fresco tumba las paredes y el techo mantengo el humo en el pecho s m u c h o no hay nada que decir al respecto le puse brillo le di color lo di todo no sé cómo hacerlo de otro modo cero drama estáis que lloro mis rimas son versos contra el decoro ahora te lo doy ya no me demoro en cintas de cromo a sonar el oro 7n 7c los cinco borros barna y madrid en el coro décadas de esto no importa cómo mi sillón de barbero es como mi trono hago como sé soy un icono flaco pero peso como plomo y yo back like ray barreto it's everybody favorite fellow i'm walking through the hood like